Hey guys, Tyler here. Today I'm trying out Towerscape, a new reverse tower defense game where you actually have to make a path for your guys to run through to survive and to get to the exit. The idea is that your characters have to pick up items along the way, items which you can use to upgrade your army and to progress through the game. But you are very much trying to avoid the detection of the towers. So it's pretty cool. As a roguelike style map, I start at the top, work my way to the bottom. I also have five coins in the top left, which I can use to buy more goons to my army. Every goon has three stats, HP, speed, and time it takes for it to spawn in. So if I want, I could buy a shroomy to my army and then look at my army screen. I have three guys in the army, I can change their order. I would definitely want the slow ones in the front so the fast ones can keep up to them, like Tim and the Imp. There's another thing where if I have two of a kind, I can go to here and combine them into stronger versions. I have two imps, I can combine them to create Riff, who is extremely fast and doesn't take much time to spawn. So I'll go slow to fast, and then I'll take on the next wave. The goal is to collect two keys in the top left, then I can move on to the next section, while of course avoiding all the enemies. But if I want, I could pick up other items like coins and wooden shields. And the idea is the more I loot, the stronger I become. So I gotta make sure my path is pretty smart here. I can actually double back, so I am gonna do that. Also seems to be a health potion on the ground, but I'll let that be. But I've planned my path, and let's see how the army does. I pick up the shield, pick up the coin, and nobody dies. So I only got one out of two coins to beat this level, so I gotta start another wave. And right now I'll just wait for the shop to refresh and I'll just go back to the next wave. There's more enemies now. I still have to get that second key. So run in, run out, and then run over to get the healing vial and escape from the range of everybody. Let's see, is everyone gonna survive? My shroomy barely survives. That was close though. MVP being shroomy. Perfect survival. On to floor 10. My shop now gets refreshed on the store. I could buy upgrades to my minions as well for plus 12 HP, but I'm too broke. But it seems like there's a lot of interesting synergies of minions I could have. And now I get two exits. Whichever exit I go to will actually influence where I go on the map, the cave or to the crypt. And going to the cave seems interesting because then I can get relics on an even lower floor. And the cave exit is up here. But I do want to get things like the treasure chest and the gold shield because that's worth two. And of course I need to get the key. So I'll just make a path that picks up the shield and the chest, gets the heck out of here. And because each goon can only carry one item, I'm not going to pick up the coin because I want my third item pick up to be the key. And then these guys' range are huge. They're hard to escape. I just got to let it ride and hope everybody survives. Oh, my front guy's getting hurt a bit, but surviving? They're too fast? They're so fast. Let's go. Everyone made it. Still gotta do another wave, but I got a treasure chest, so I can get a lot of rewards. I can get one of these options. Plus three coins, minus one delay, plus two speed, or plus six health, plus two speed, plus one delay. This could go really good on the front runner. How about I try an onyx chimp? Chip. And then what I can do is I can take my shroomy and put a gem onto shroomy. It doesn't matter that shroomy's more delayed because he's the first unit anyway. But now he's super tanky, which is what you want out of that front runner. Oh, and I could get a second Tim. Don't mind if I do. I will combine my Tims into the legend. He's now the same speed as Riff, but they'll be coming in right after shroomy anyway. So now I do have to get this second key. But I also want to get the coins. So I got to dodge this knight's range then pick up the key, being in the range for a short amount of time, and then escape through here outside of everybody's range. And I think it just is smart to double back to here, and then I can run straight out. I still wanna pick up the coin, so I'll do that. So I got two coins and a key, which is enough for everybody to have picked up one. Let's see if I survive. Front guy's taking some hits, but now he's not the front guy anymore, so he's fine. These guys don't do much damage, we're in, and we're out. Another floor down. We do descend a level. I got a new shop. I see there's different clans. I probably want clan synergy. Most of my stuff are damned, except for Shroomy. He's enchanted. I'm too broke for anything here. I got three keys I need. I really want to make it to the crypt. Oh, but look how far the key is away. I got to go through everybody. All right, hold on. So I'll run straight through this coin, pick up the chest, and then just be a little bit of an edge hugger. And once I'm down here, I'm safe because I can pick up the key and not worry about anything. On my way back, I can run out here, pick up the gold shield. So I would have a gold shield, a key and a chest. Wait, I could pick up vials. I bet those are like temporary buffs. I'll let those be now for like later waves. And let's see, does anyone take any damage? I know front guy's taking the damage, but now he's not the front guy. Oh, back guy, no, healed up a little bit. Oh, the back guy might be taking some damage. Someone got picked off. 
Oh, I think only two of my guys survived. Then we returned to life in the next wave. I did get a key. What did I leave? I got a treasure chest. I'm actually gonna go with four coins this time because they seem like pretty basic chips. I wanted an onyx gem. Yeah, for plus six HP, plus two speed. I don't know who died though. It might have been Rift. So, I mean, he could use the gem. And now they're pretty strong and Rift being in the back is good. Okay, this one's a lot easier. All the enemies are way over here, but I don't care. I guess the fastest way through is actually around like this because I have pretty much no time being touched. And that seems like a very... Very easy path. I'm not going to worry about this even slightly. Easiest triple pickup of my life. You know, I'm going to try taking an imp and then holding on to the rest of my money. But the idea with this imp is that he'll probably not die. Either Shroomy will be hit, hit for a while and then eventually the legend and rift will catch up and hopefully he can just pick up something else. He is there. So I wonder if it makes sense to start by going through just to pick up the wooden shield and the speed vial and then picking up the second wooden shield just to help protect me. Then I can start going for the greedy stuff like coins and of course the key, which I'm gonna quickly come in, come back out and then make it all the way over to the exit. I do want this coin though, a little greedy. Let's see, how does it hold? All right, so Shroomy's getting hit, but Shroomy's got a shield now. Someone else has got a shield, multiple shields. Shroomy's getting hit a lot. Don't die, Shroomy! Okay, Shroomy died, but dropped the key. Someone else has it. Everyone else survived. And I got two coins anyway, so I didn't get a perfect win, but it's fine. Shroomy lives on. The Legends MVP, I can pat him. Good job. So proud of you. Whoa. So I could get a discount on future damned. Wait, that's pretty good if I'm going for damned. I'll buy it and try to go for damned. And then I want to make it to damned. So I'll have to go to the crypt for gems. And that's all the way out here past a ton of enemies. But I also want a treasure chest and the gold shield and the key. Oh boy. But I can start by picking up these items. There's nobody in range. And I can still safely, relatively, make it to the key. Then make it up here, and now I enter the pain zone. I think I want to be in the wizard's range as short as possible. He has one DPS. The archer has half a DPS. The knight has two DPS, so never go into his range. Escape the wizard. Now do I want greed to go for the treasure chest here? I mean, that's so greedy. I'm going to pick it up. going to go for the chest, and then I'll hug the wall on the edge here and hope we survive. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so here we go. Got a little extra speed. Got some homing missiles. Taking a lot of damage. Got that shield. Shroomy may die. Wait, someone's got a chest. Did it survive? I think the chest survived. The key has to survive. I lost the golden shield. Everyone made it except for Shroomy. Shroomy needs more HP somehow. I could get another chip. Oh, Onyx versus Onyx chip. I'll take an Onyx. I could put it into Imp because of the additional speed. So Imp would be a front runner, at least for a little bit. Maybe that's just all I need. Well, seem one seems a lot easier. I can just get a coin and a key early then hug the edge. Really hug it. Staying out of the wizard's range. Walking back around over here. Entering the Hall of Pain. Avoiding the knight. Still avoiding a knight. There's multiple archers. So I have two coins and a key. I guess I would only really want to otherwise pick up this gold shield now. It says worth two intact. It doesn't look intact. We'll see what it gives me at the end of it all. So let's see. Is the imp going to catch up the shroomy? Oh, uh, no. Something, somebody else is first. Shroomy is barely alive, but still getting hit. Come on, Shroomy. Shroomy made it. We got everything. Perfect survival. I actually got four keys. Overachieving. What's in the store? Oh, another Shroomy might be really good, actually. Yeah, I should upgrade my Shroomy just to see what happens. Wait a second. Oh, I think I normally need more than two cards combined. I just have a relic that makes my damned combined with two cards. Damned. Well, I'll need a third Shroomy then. Well, I expect you to die, Shroomy. But if I'm lucky, first Shroomy may soak up some damage for second Shroomy. Anyways, I gotta make it to lava for more damned. I have a gold shield, a chest, two keys, and an exit. How about I start by picking up a wood shield and then a gold shield because the wood shield may protect some of us. And then I can go and pick up the speed vial. I could pick up healing potions in case I need it. Pick up the key, safely make it to the chest. I think I would actually safely go up to the key, go in pain for a little bit and actually double back just to stay out of the wizard's range for as long as I can. Then I have no choice but to run through. I can go up here and then go over one so I don't spend extra time in the range of two wizards. Yeah, I mean, this is sketch. You know, I'm probably gonna have some dudes die, but you never know. I mean, the shield's taking some hits. He's also healing a little bit, huh? I don't know, people are alive right now. Somehow nobody's died. Oh, he's carrying a treasure chest. Is he gonna make it? Okay, chest was dropped, the chest was saved again. Four of them survived. That's what I consider a win. Halfway done with keys. 
I can take another Onyx or just six coins. Six coins is too much to pass up. An Onyx costs five, I think. You know, I'll take an Amethyst chip because I bet it would go well on someone like Legend. Having him come out even sooner. It also technically makes Rift come out sooner. I can also get another Ruby chip for Front Shroomy. You know what? I'm going to try it. I like buying chips, even though this might be a bit of a waste. But now everyone's a lot more tanky. Key in the top left, key in the bottom right. And then I have to run through the hallway of pain. I think I'm actually going to go up this high because I'm just going to dart to the area where I'm somehow in nobody's range. Quickly into the key. I keep going straight down here. I'm outside of the range of both the archers. And then it can kind of start to cut through this hallway. The next sensible thing to do is just pick up the other key. I don't really want to go up into this bend for just one coin. Instead, I'll go around, pick up the wooden shield, go out to the side, and then out the exit, and let's see how this goes. Go, Shroomy, go! Shroomy's got the first key. Shroomy's safe now, but he, no, he's still targeted! Whoa, did I lose two of them? I lost a Shroomy and an Imp, but I did get two keys. The only thing I really lost out on were two coins. That's tricky. Well, now there's Damned in the shop. Great, Scott. Ooh, another Shroomy. Maybe I can upgrade now? Or I can get a Chomp. Yeah, these seem cool. I'm gonna get my third Shroomy and hope I can combine them. I can. Hopefully the gems stay in when I combine. They do. It becomes a 36 HP unit with, I guess, two gems that give plus six. That helps. That's Cap. He takes a while to spawn, but that's who you want as a front runner. You want a super tank in the beginning. Let's see, where do I want to go next? Probably to the other damned. And that would be very close to me. One key right by the exit. Second key over by this knight. I can pick up a treasure chest, pick up the gold shield, then keep going along the edge, get that last key, and then get out. Seems easy enough. Hey, everyone made it. Super easy path. I can afford ghoul stuff now. Well, I got five coins, so I can buy a chomp at the shop. It takes a long time to spawn. I'm still gonna buy him anyway. He could also just be my front runner instead of cap. I could take an onyx chip out of cap, put it on chomp. Cap is pretty slow now though, so I could give him the speed gem. I think that's starting to work out. I like sapphire a lot. So sapphire goes on cap, and I think I'll give even more HP to chomp. 30 HP, beefy dude. Oh, now my keys are far, far away. I'll just take this one through the top then. I bend like here. I get slightly outside of an archer's range. Quickly pick up the key, then go up and out. So I'm in nobody's range for a little bit. Come back out and then, oh, what a weird path. Just I want to stay out of this wizard's range as long as possible. This time it's fine though. I can actually just go straight across. Just avoid the knight's range. Yeah, dodge down like that. Then I just make it out. Well, let's try it. I don't know. It, it seems long and convoluted, but everybody's so fast, I don't think it matters. Yeah, nobody's even close to dying. Actually, the front guy was pretty close. But it was a perfect survival anyway. Down to the next floor. Imps are free! <laughs> Give me the free imp, and I will take another chomp. See how that upgrades. I can also upgrade another imp, but let's start with making a, a Shadito. That is a 20 speed goon. I can also combine my imps. Wait, so I make another riff. Can I combine riffs then? I can make a wrath. A 2622. Wait, these stats are incredible. Now I want to make it to this other damn store, which means I probably want to go through coins than undead than damned, unless if spells are easier to get through. So coins is easy. Getting the keys though is very hard. They're out there. So I have only four units. I can carry two keys, a treasure chest, and a golden shield. Thing is, I could choose to just go for one key and let multiple waves go on, but the more waves I do, the more strong the enemies get. You know what though? I am going to try a one key strat. Start by going this way, pick up a speed potion and another speed potion, I guess, for just maximum speed. Run in, get the key in the chest and then get out. And then I can just escape through this. I think it's actually fine going for one key and I'll just wait till the next key is in an easier spot. Look at his speed! Holy crap. The, he was faster than the bullets. Shady man, you're crazy. I could upgrade a minion. The speed is slower by four, but the time to come out is faster by four or eight coins. Well, considering I have damned in the shop though, I may just want eight coins. So I'll take eight coins to see if I can get anything good in the shop. So Tim's combined to make a legend. So I'll buy a Tim and re-roll for another free imp. Chomps become Shuditos. I could take another chomp, re-roll again. I got another Tim and another imp. All right, let's see what I can do now. How about I combine my imps for another riff, combine my tims for another legend, and combine my legends? Oh, they don't combine. Definitely thought they would. 
So now I've got some refiguring out to do. Like I might have almost two waves within the wave. Start with Shadido and with Wrath. Like it doesn't make sense to always go slow into fast because of the delay of certain minions. I still could try Shadido in the front and then Chomp is gonna just soak up a bunch of damage and die though. Okay, so what? Okay, the key stays there. Now I really have to go out there, but that's because there's two keys. I figure I would need three waves to win anyway. We'll just take it straight through. Okay, looks like this healing vial is in the wizard's range. I think I'm actually gonna very quickly hop in, take the gold shield, just go in the range of the knight for a little bit. I gotta avoid this knight's range. So I'm gonna go around him, just being under attack by the one knight for longer. Oh wait, there's three keys. On run to the outside, save here, pick up the key, get back on the outside. So I could run here, pick up the two keys really quickly and then scram. So I'm picking up three keys, gold shield and a coin. I'll just make it to the exit and pray everyone's okay. Oh, let's go, shady boy. Yeah, get that shield to get that healing. Keep soaking up the damage. I'm okay if the chomp dies. Did he make it? I think he made it. Okay, I, I think most of us are good. Did anyone die? Yeah, okay, I actually lost a lot of dudes. Oh, Shadido spawns a riff when dying, and Chomp spawns an imp. You know, I guess I never even noticed that. So I still had plenty alive. And I'll see if I can get anything for cheap from the shop, like an imp. Chomp would be nice, but I guess I'm too broke. Yeah, I'll just put the imp near the beginning. It's tough to say what the best order is, but I'm expecting plenty to die. But that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I did find that nothing special happens if I get multiple keys. Or sorry, more keys than the required amount. So I think I'll just take the key. I'll also take a couple coins. And then I'll GTFO. Okay, I could use a little more greed than that. Pick up that coin. Pick up this coin. And now get out. I mean, that's probably not going to lose too many. I'll be able to collect all the important things. Yep, escaped with the key. Got a bunch of coins. Only three died. Next floor. Apparently there's bonus coins here, but now I got to go to the crypt. Oh, I can get another imp. Don't mind if I do. Combine the imps. I got another riff. Combine the riffs. Combi combine rafts. No, but you know, two rafts are better than one. So where's the undead exit? Top right, huh? There's actually a lot of interesting stuff on this map. Shield, two keys, and a treasure chest in the bottom right. I think I will actually start with these coins and just quickly go straight to get out of the wizard's range. I can pick up gold shield, dash through the wizard's territory. I will take this one healing vial. I think it's worth the being in the range for a little, little while longer. Picking up this key is easy. Pick up the coin and the speed potion. Then get over here. I'll go straight down to the chest. I mean, that's probably enough stuff for everybody to be carrying something. And then I go to the crypt. All right, let's send it. Who will survive? Dropped the golden shield already. Well, the key is better. He did survive. Second key picked up. It's all just too fast to keep track of. That was a perfect survival, though. Okay, so synergy I don't have. Enchanted costs two less. An onyx chip or nine coins? It's got to be nine coins. I can buy so many good things. Do I want a cultist? The issue is he's slow and he takes six to come out. I will saved all my money for the damned store. Oh, well, now I can, again, only get two keys. I'm going to take a slightly roundabout path to avoid the wizard's range. I think I'll do it again, actually. Look the edges. The issue is the wizard will always have somebody to attack. So I don't really think I'm getting the best of them. I can gun straight for these coins. I can get a ton of coins here. Go two coins. I would actually pick up the shield and get outside the wizard's range. Stay within the range. There, I don't think anybody attacks me here. Wizard three does two damage per second. Brutal. I will stay outside of his range then. And I'll make my way over to the second key. Slowly get my way out. Let's send it. Run, 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 run. Oh, he's almost dead. No, he healed it like the perfect time. He made it. Oh, he was almost goner. Awesome. Did anyone die? I lost one chomp. Still good. And I think I'm ready for the final wave. Two keys, which is easier to get to. I think it's the one that was just under my face cam. I think once again, I will escape to the edge of the wizard 2's range. However, they added another wizard 2. So if I go here, I only escape one. So I may just have to suck it up this time. Just send it north. There's archer three, huge range, 1.5 DPS. Oh no. Quickly get out of many people's range, then avoid the range of the knight as I make my way to this corner. Now I can hug the wall as I get this key. I will take the healing potion. There's a wizard three and a wizard one, which I'll stay in the range of wizard one. Go around the knight. I'll be a little greedy and get out. Here we go. Probably gonna lose my Shadido. Oh yeah, lost him and my imp. Um, I'm actually losing a lot of units right now. Okay, well, I did get the key. That was sketch. <laughs> Toughest one yet. 
down another floor? Is there anything good in the shop? Well, I could get a free imp. I've basically committed myself to the damned, so I'm not going to take any undeads. Oh, I can melt a card. Permanently remove it, reclaiming some resources. I kind of want to test this on an imp. You get nothing. What does this map look like? Well, for starters, I need to make it to the lava with the damned. And that's all the way in the bottom right. Seems doable on the left side, but the right side has so many enemies. So many towers. Well, I can pick up an early coin key coin. I may have to just dodge this shield. It's too much pain to get there. I also think it makes sense to run and get the key and then run out because then I'll only be in the range of archers. I'll avoid knight two. That's four DPS that I don't want to take. Go down, get two coins here, get the healing potion, come back, speed potion. That's a good path. Who's gonna die? If the Shadido makes it, I guess that all is good. He did make it. Did everyone make it? All right, wave one is very good for me. What did I get? Oh, cap comes out too earlier. And it also works if I get any future shroomies. Try to leaf ring. If cap is faster, everyone's faster. It's a huge win, especially since chomp is already so slow. I guess if I want, I could just make chomp faster. Hey, yo, I'll move the gem from legend. Put him on chop. I like it. Where are my keys now? All the way up here. It's not too much out of my way, but it still hurts. Yeah, I get a solid gold shield. I think it makes sense to hug the walls and try to avoid the alley of death. I could take a quick healing vial and a quick coin and shield. Coin because I'm greedy, shield because I might, may need it. Healing vial as well. And these knights can't hit me on this side. So I guess I just go straight up, straight up to the key and then straight out. I like it. How do you do? <laughs> all right, I think I lost one. We're still good though. We got two keys, hopefully. That's all that mattered. Oh, I lost a few. I lost five, but two keys is all I needed. I'm going to have so much money for the next shop. It's going to be great. All right, two keys. They are both very accessible. This actually might be my easiest path yet. I'm going to be very ungreedy here because I just need to make it to the shop. I'm actually going to snake around like that because it lets me avoid one additional range. Bum rush the key and then get out. wonder if it might make sense to just stay in this wizard's range as I go down. Uh, then I could also leave this archer 3's range a little earlier. Yeah, down like this. Just got to avoid the knight's range. This would be a really fun PvP game where one person plays as the towers and the other plays as the army. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to take it straight out. Very simple path. Get the two keys and run. I don't think there's much more I need to think about it. So I lost, lost the keys, but hopefully they keep picking them up. Don't drop them. Don't drop them. Let's go. There we go. That's the good stuff. All right, time to get some good stuff from this shop. Take an imp. Ooh, a plus 12 ruby. I am in need of a second chomp. But you know what? I actually will buy this. Plus 12 HP sounds very good. Let's start by combining some chomps. Can I combine shadidos? I cannot, but they're both still cracked. I can combine imps, and I can reroll my shop. I don't really care about scots. So let's reroll. Take another imp. I'm actually not too big on the chomp right now. What am I looking for? Then cultist? Yeah, you know what? I'll let you try a cultist now. Why not? Reroll again, another imp, another cultist. And I def spawn coin. I don't care about spawning coin. Another imp, onyx is good. Upgrade my stuff. Reroll again, another imp, another cultist. Okay, let's combine my imps. I have two rifts I can combine into a raff. So I can get another riff. Cultist combines into, oh, a fanatic that spawns a riff. And it's a little faster too. Well, this is crazy. All right, what if I could start with fanatic then? You... I think I just want you to have HP, so 12 HP, because I want you to spawn a bunch of imps. Issue is nothing's going to spawn right in front of them. I could go for a cap right behind them, followed by like legends and rafts. Get a riff in there too. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let's keep messing around with the gems now. On Fnatic, you know, I'll actually put the Onyx chip, just give them absurd HP. Then otherwise, I got a ruby gem for plus <laughs> 6 HP, a casual 68. I think I want one, just one Onyx gem on the cap so we can catch up to the Fnatic. So all these can catch up to the Fnatic. We're built up, huge army. I need six keys now. Well, I should get this treasure chest early before it becomes harder. Then stock up on speed potions. Dash for the first key. Dash for a second. I think I'm just going north at this point. Yeah, it looks like a lot less pain to get through. I can also get good things like a healing potion. Like a healing vial as well. Now let's try it. All right, so am I going to spawn many goons? Uh, it doesn't look like I am. Chest made it. Keys made it. The second army is... Oh, God. That cultist is so slow. He's so slow. Maybe I do need to give him some speed then. Well, Sapphire does that. I'll actually take a Sapphire here. 11 coins aren't going to immediately do anything for me. So let's socket this on Shadido or Cultist. And then let's remove the gem. Put this one 
on the cultist as well. 14 is a little respectable. Am I going to buy a shroomy? You know what? I'll buy a shroomy. Mm, I actually need a lot of these <laughs> in order to uh, get caps. So you know what? Never mind. Maybe not the greatest play. Whatever. I don't think it hurts me. Oh, both the keys are off to the right now. Well, choose this one carefully. I still get the gold shield. Grab this health file. I might get it on the way back, actually. Like okay. May just dash out here, dash down to get the coins back up to get the key. I don't think there's any significant ranges that I'm in. Yeah, there's no really close range attackers, so this looks okay. Got both keys. Nobody seems dead yet, so I'm not even spawning any extra goons. I may lose the Shadido. I lost the Shadido. It wasn't in the range of the spawner. I lost five guys, but got two keys. Worth the trade. And the keys are way in this little bottom nook now. Okay, well, I don't think I care about the coins this time. I just get the keys and get out. The rest pretty much plays itself. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, I did pretty good. Oh, I almost didn't get that key. Actually, I didn't have many people survive at all. I had three units survive. One of them was Cap. All right, well, I've made it to the crypt. I'm almost out. I'll take a ruby chip. Let's see, who do I want to have more HP? Probably one of my guys in the back because they're going to have to pick up the keys that the others drop. I should probably spend my coins, but I don't like any of these options. Maybe I can get something rolling. I can get an imp. Woo, cute naked imp. I need seven keys. There's only one exit all the way on the other side of the map. Well, I only see two keys here, so I don't know if it's going to be a two key or a three key challenge. Either way, I should get this treasure chest while it's still early. Snake my way out over to the keys. I think it's just easiest if I just hug the wall. I love you, wall. And I can snake back through here, dodging most knights. I bet I could get away with getting to this shield. I am going to enter the danger zone for a brief... Oh, I'm going to enter the danger zone for a long time. God, this looks painful. I think I got to go all the way down here to escape the range of one goon. And then keep staying out. Just go straight up. Well, let's see. Hopefully I survive. This is the time where I need it. One key gotten. I think I got the second key. No one's going to die though, right? Oh, I had a shroomy die in the cultist range. Yeah, keep summoning those goons. I got so many that went through. Two keys gotten. And I get a reward. Let's go sapphire chip here. So I'm mostly upgrading minions. I think I'm just going to buff the speed of somebody. That somebody is going to be my final shadido. The bottom row is absolute hell now i would say this is ultimately avoidable like if i start by just avoiding these knights on the bottom that's a knight two this is a regular knight i will choose the knight two i have to go in his range anyway for the key you know what he can only attack so many of us at once i'm just gonna gun for the key and then get out of his range and i think i could just hug this wall and be okay on my way back down i'll avoid the knight quite easily around the edge and then get out okay how does it do right away i mean that cap is so fast something died things made it though things made it did i get both my keys I believe so how's this back squad do the back squad gets entirely wiped out so i wonder if some of the back squads just become part of the front squad like the shadido they can just move up and if i know that cultist is probably just gonna die i'll just remove his gems shadido could use something give him a plus two speed and i'll give this one plus four speed 24 speed yeah i'll catch up to that main group in no time one thing i definitely don't want any of these in the shop is there anything to look forward to a cultist would be great if i had four more coins well hold on hold on if i go to minions i think i'll actually lose a legend oh i have a chance to get gems and i'm not losing any gems in the process let's try it Okay, plus one coin. I can also then lose the shroomy. So now I have four coins, which is enough to get me the cultist. Combine the cultist, and can I combine fanatics? I cannot, but now I know. Do I want to summon two fanatics in the beginning? Let's see what happens if I do. Let's see if I like this build. All right, I got two more waves of this. Okay, but the keys don't seem terrible. There are so many enemies at the exit. Okay, this is a really easy two key play. I mean, they're right next to each other. You just take it. Now that I'm here, I could pick up the shield without much consequence. Come on down for this other shield. I mean, I want every shield I can take. I think I should go straight down on this one. There's speed potions and shields. And then I can hug this way out, dodging the knights. I mean, it's so red there. Well, let's see. Anyone survives. So I get the keys. Still alive. No shield pickup because the key is more important. Super speed. Okay, drop the key, but someone else is going to pick it up. Okay, I got a lot through. And two keys. I only need one more. Oh, I'm taking the one way up here. That's way easier. So I get this. I just run straight. That's a knight three, which I will gladly avoid. I can just go around here. 
Go up straight. Come on out. Let's pray. I just need the one key. That's all. All right, first key picked up. Is it gonna make it? He might even just make it. No, keys dropped. Picked up by Cap. Dropped again. Picked up again. It's gotta be through. It's gotta be through. I got it. Let's go. That's a victory. So I was just playing the demo, but the full game's out. So it seems like there's a lot of other synergies, harder difficulties. Let me know if you enjoy. Reverse tower defense. Really unique concept. And I'd love to run it back. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.